hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is Anne, and i make college and lifestyle videos school begins in about a week or two and i go to school in 10 days i'm so happy to go back to school and if you don't know i go to new mass law and in today's video i was thinking hmm, since i'm going back to school there must be something that i like so i'm going to share with you or uh, what i like in case you're thinking about going to umass law and you're thinking hmm what is there to like in umass law so let's get into it the first thing that i really like about umass law is the diversity even though it's a pwi a predominantly white institution you don't really feel that it is because i'm I think I'm almost surrounded by, almost always surrounded by all kind of people, all kind of ethnic ethnicities. I don't feel like I'm only surrounded by white people, which I really like. And even though when you search up the ratios, the, the ratio for black people is kind of down and kind of not inviting, it's still okay. So far, I've been there for a year and I felt like it was a good balance it wasn't too too much our number so i think their diversity there is very nice you get to meet different kind of people from different kind of backgrounds different kind of places so i really like that and secondly there is a lot of resources in case you need to study to get a job we have um, an app called handshake if you want to get a job for the summer after you graduate and all that stuff there's opportunities there's resources that you can get information or um applications together if you want to study abroad and all that stuff even though it's expensive but if you have the money and you want to there's opportunities that you can get into that and also what i really liked is the professors so far i've been there for the as i already said and most of the professors that i had were really good they were willing to help they had office hours and they were open they had many resources to help us pass they weren't like oh i don't care what you do most of them really kind of cared only one or two professors that i had were kind of not good words or whatever but most of them were good they were willing to help they were there for you if you needed them and some of them even i had like a professor the first semester and he still sends us emails about opportunities job opportunities for our major and like internships and stuff like that so people are the professors are willing to help they are not letting us or whatever and also i think this is my fourth point or third point people are generally good i've never really seen people that being bitter or overprotective you know if they have resources they're willing to help people are willing to make group chats to um share resources in just uh for example in my anatomy lab class we had like a group chat we never really talked much in it but they were willing to send um, flashcards, digital flashcards for us to study if you need them because you know it's a very memory heavy subject so people are willing to help if you open to them and um, people are nice if you want to be friends I don't think it's hard but some people of course you won't get it or good I've seen some racist people but it's not it's not shocking because we're in America, of course. There are some racist people somewhere. <laughs> but most, mostly I see that people are very nice. People are open to help if you need it. And people are just nice, I think. And also my next point is that if you um, have a high need for financial aid like your parents don't make much or stuff like that they give you good financial aid all the schools that i applied you must well give me the uh, best financial aid because i wasn't even planning on going there but with the financial aid they gave me i couldn't profit it i had to go there and 
I enjoyed my time so far. It's not the worst, it's not the best, but it's good in the middle, you know. But the financial aid is good if you work hard and if you have a need for it, they're gonna provide you with financial aid. And also, there are a lot of clubs if you are a person that is a social butterfly that needs to socialize. There's African Student Union, Black Student Union, every major, most of them have clubs for them. Um, the students are open, uh, like leaders, they have social clubs that if you want to join, if you want to participate in learning about your culture, some people, maybe they're born in America, but they're, um, they're from Africa, they're from Asian countries, they're from Mexican countries or stuff like that. There are like groups and everything that are willing to share with you with other people and learn about the cultures, learn about, have fun. So the clubs, I don't really participate because I'm really an introvert and I'm just always in my room kind of stuff. But if you are someone that wants to socialize, there are clubs there that are open all, all the time. They send you emails about the meetings. They get opportunities like the pre-med club. They had um, meetings that some doctors, PAs and stuff like that will come and talk to you and share about their experiences. They get opportunities for you if you need to shadow people and learn about it. They help with medical school um, application process. People are just genuinely willing to help. If you just participate, you're, just gonna, you're really gonna get someone to help you. So the clubs, it's a good way to make friends. If you, I went there with some people that I already knew, so and I'm not really open to making so much friends. But if you are, there is that opportunity. That's what I'm trying to say. And also there are events most of the time, social events that you can socialize with people, another way to socialize. They are not too crazy. I remember when we were about to come back, I forgot the name of the social room, but it was so fun. I even I went there, it was kind of cool, but it was nice. They get they do very good events, and now that we're about to go back to school, they have events for when we open, like the opening week, that you can get into it. That is, it's the cost is immersed in the tuition, but they are there, you know. And also, if um, unlike some other schools in New Maslow, you can choose your own dorm, like any dorm that you want to stay in. It's open to all years. I remember my friend, I have, a, I had a friend that went to Dartmouth and she said there was like specific dorms for freshmen and only uh, freshmen can only dorm in that kind of, but in New Maslow, no, all students, all classes, all years can dorm in anywhere they want. And with the price point and the explanation, you just choose what works for you and choose what favors you. And I love that it's open and you don't have you're not like restricted in what you have to choose you know there are a lot of opportunities available for different different kind of things passing your classes or studying there are tutors there's if you um a science or like yeah a health science like i am there is the hub open it's just that there's opportunities there's What's another word that you can, um, if you are willing to work hard, you're gonna pass, that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's mostly the things that I like. And with the com campus not being like a secluded place, there's ways to move around, um, to around Lowell and stuff like that. Lowell is kind of also close to Boston and all that stuff, so you can move around during weekends, have fun. Even though people say it's a party school, I think this will be my last point. Even though people say it's a party school, if you're not a party person like I am, you're not forced to 
I, I didn't really see if it was a party school. I don't know, maybe because of the friends that I go around with, they're not really party people. Some are, but not all of them. So if you're not like immersed in it or open to going to parties, it's not like because it's a party school, you're always kind of forced to go to parties. You know, of course, it's your choice, but also. It doesn't really cloud over the education and the opportunities and every, every other thing that comes with the school, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah, if you watched to the end, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.